Hello everyone, glad you can join us at the exercise program at Misty Mountain. Now what we're going to do today are the HIIT exercises, high intensity interval training. Before we start, I'd like to introduce to you the concept of heart rate monitoring. We would like to monitor our heartbeat. So what I suggest is that you find your pulse. Literally, you can find it on your pulse and it is always on the thumb side. Push it gently, not hard. You may obstruct the blood flow. An alternative is that you put it on your neck, follow the jaw lying down, gently probe, and one feels a bit. Now you've got that in place. Focus for a moment. I will tell you when to start, I will tell you when to stop, and then we will do something with that figure that you have. I suggest you start counting now. Stop. That figure that you have, do that times 10. So in other words, put a zero at the end. Now you have a heart rate per minute in approximate rest. I like you to remember that figure. Now into the exercise. We do three blocks of four minutes of exercises. Each block has the same eight exercises. Today, we will work with a program called PACE. I call it, for today, PACE 1. The exercises are as follows. I'll quickly go through them. First one is march. Everyone can march. The second one is a jog, but not everyone should jog because there is an impact and that may not be the right choice for you today. Next one is a torso twist uppercut. Make it a good twist and a good uppercut. The next one is a squat lower. Please take a note that you squat but do not bend. This is preferable, not the best thing, but a squat lower is good. The next one is what Jane Fonda has given to us. The butt kicker, but we can call it the Aussie bottom basher. It looks like this. The next one is the heel tap. Looks like this. Make it look elegant, work with your body. The next one is, and I need a little bit more space, is the shuffle twist. Shuffle twist. It is more about leg lifting than arm dropping. The last one is an impact one. This is what it originally is. It's called the half jack. However, for those that should avoid the impact, you can modify it. But if you don't know what to do, or it is all a little bit too hard, start jogging or do the butterfly. Okay, now we know that we're going to do three blocks of four minutes. The first block is a block in which you, well, you moderate your exercise. It's not hard, it's easy, and you slowly bring your heart rate up. That is the idea. Then we have a pause. We have an exercise, uh, sorry, we have a breathing exercise in between. We monitor our heart rate and then eventually we're ready for the next slot. The next slot, the next four minutes is with more bite, with more intensity. And then we have again a pause. But the third one, we really like to bring the heart rate up to more, it's less your maximum. Your maximum, okay? Okay, are you ready for this now? We go into the first slot of four minutes with the same eight exercises of which I just gave you some. Take a deep breather. Why don't you join me in an oxygen cocktail? Here we go. We breathe in deep through the nose. Our lungs are full. We hold it for a few seconds. And everything out. So replenish the contents of your lungs. Generally I do three. Ready. And we start with our exercise, which is the march, and with the timer. I press my button, and you are marching. We do this for 30 seconds. You may already be thinking late for later on, how will I intensi intensify the exercise? Well, you can go fast, that's an option. You can also lift your legs higher and swing your arms more. But for now, you don't have to worry about that, because this is just in the first block 
for four minutes, you ease your body into exercise. Heart rate is going up, breathing increases, and eventually your skin will get damp. Next exercise, can you go into a jog? If that works fine, if it doesn't, if it is not the right choice for you, then keep on marching. Same with the jog. If you want to increase the intensity, lift the legs a little bit higher, swing the arms a bit more. But nothing to worry about for now. A few more seconds for the jog. We go soon to the next one, 30 seconds for this slot is up. Torso twist, up again. Make it a good twist. Make sure that all the muscles that are connected to your spinal column and to your hips are getting into action. And a good uppercut. Look from one side to the other. Give it a bit of energy. How does that one go for you? I'm already huffing and puffing a bit more. I hope you are too. A few more seconds. Next one. Squat, low row. Make it a squat, not a bend. And your row, you may notice the higher you do the arms, the more you feel it in your shoulders. It's called exercise. Later on, here's a suggestion. For later on, do you have to go faster? You possibly can also lift your heels. Or you can even put a little jump in there for those that have the energy. Next one, we go to the butt kicker or the bottom basher. Again, the same story. What is it with the arms? Are they high? Or are they low? We do this for another 8 seconds, 7 seconds, counting down. What is your heart rate doing? Is it going up? I like to think so. We're making the swap to the other one, which is the heel tip. Yeah? It is actually with nearly all of these exercises. If you want to intensify it, you can for instance put a little hop on there. But for some of you, that's not the best choice. A few more seconds of the heel tip. Next one, do you remember that one? It's the shuffle twist. Here it goes. Arms out wide, not low. Shuffle, twist, shuffle, twist. More leg lifting than arm dropping. How does it go? You like exercise? We call it here at Misty, we call it one of your eight medicines. Ideally, you have something like this every day. A few more seconds of the shuffle twist. Then the last one, it is the half check. There's a bit of bouncing, right? Maybe not the best for all of you. So here's how you can modify. Doesn't it look cool? I think it does. Now be mindful that we only have, what? Another few seconds left of this first slot of eight exercises. So when we're done, which is five seconds away, you immediately find your pulse. And we'll take your heart rate. There you go. Find your pulse. Start counting now. Stop. That number multiplied by 10. And then again, you have a heart rate per minute, but not in rest. It is now after an increased exercise. Now we have a little pause in which we recover.
Wow, did you recover? I like to think so, you do. Um, I'm recovered, I think my heart rate is lower. Is yours? Well, let's put it to the test. Find your pulse, or your neck, or wherever you think, think you can find your heart rate. I suggest, now you've got it, you start counting now. Times 10. What is it now? Is it lower? You would expect so. This heart rate, after recovery, after your first slot, could you please compare that number with your resting heart rate that you took as the very first number? Ideally, the recovery should have progressed in a way that you are now within 30 beats of your resting heart rate. Hopefully that's the case, and that is an indicator that you have recovered well enough. If it is still a little bit higher, take a little bit more time. Just put this video on pause, and then you start it again. Either way, in between the four minutes, we take approximately one and a half minutes of recovery time. That is the recommended recovery in a program called PACE. However, we're now ready for the second slot. Same eight exercises, but like I said before, with more bite. Are you ready? We better be. Here we go. There's a march, and it is with more bite, like I said. You lift your legs maybe higher, swing your arms a bit more. We do this for less now than 30 seconds before we go to the next one. Are you breathing deep? Very important. All those muscles, they are in full action now. They need all that beautiful oxygen that you can take in right now. Well, we have another five seconds to go, and then we go into the jog, the jog for those who can jog. Here it is. Yeah, you can go faster. I'll give you a quick example. If you cannot jog, you can still do something like this with the march. Swing your, uh, your hips around a little bit more, but in the meantime, others are jogging. Try to keep up with them. Are you breathing deep? Wonderful. A few more seconds. I'll tell you already now. Next one is the torso twist uppercut. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. Give it a good uppercut. You can do something maybe more with your legs. It's actually up to you. You can make some adjustments, things that suit you better. Torso, twist, uppercut. Another five seconds to go. There we go, next one, squat, lower. Are you bending deep? For those that have that energy, you can lift your heels maybe a bit more. Look, I'm, f I'm leading out here at a certain pace. But if you have to go with a different pace, make it so. My pace is not necessarily your pace. The next one is coming your way. It is the butt kicker. Thanks to Jane. Jane Hook. Jane Fonda. Had I mentioned her before? There she is. Fitter, this is what you can do, or you stick to the heel tip. But a little friendly reminder is there a bit more bite to it than you did in the first session? Your heart rate will eventually tell you that that is so or not. We go for the next one shuffle, twist, shuffle, twist, shuffle, twist. Bring that leg up, don't drop the arm too much.
few more seconds. And the last one. Oh, already. Time is going fast when you're having fun. So here's the impact. Half jack, but not for all of you. Here. You can do this little side step. Or you can do the butterfly. Anyway, I'm confusing those that are doing the half jack. A few more seconds. That means that you should also be ready to find your pulse. Last three seconds. Two, one, find your pulse. Start counting now. Stop counting. Times 10. Is that a higher figure than at the, at the end of the first session? Ideally, that's the case. Heart rate is up higher. Now we're in recovery time. I suggest maybe let's do another oxygen cocktail in between. There you go. Three of those. Wow, I hope that all went well for you, went well for you. For me it did, I'm still here. I hope you are still too. We have to find out how well you have recovered. So, find your heartbeat. Are you ready to count? Start counting now. Stop counting. That figure times 10. Ideally, this is now the highest heart rate that you have thus far. But that's not it. We like to bring it up higher. So, are you ready for the next one? The last one with higher intensity. Let's take a quick oxygen cocktail before we go. Make sure that we replenish the oxygen contents in our blood. Third one. Okay. The third one, like I said beforehand, this is where you push yourself. But do it in an intelligent way. It is no use of pushing your injury in a more harmful way. So work with your body, be gentle with the inflammations, but if you can, make sure that there is good activity taking place. All right? Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Here it comes. The first one is a serious march for all. I press the button, the time is going. Here we go. Lift the legs higher, but swing. Swing the arms more, the breathing is deep. You know, it is actually only 12 minutes that we exercise together. But it has a greater health effect on you, as well as a fitness effect, than, for instance, a whole hour of jogging. We're nearly ready for the next one, which is the jog. Only for 30 seconds. And only for those that can handle it right now. How is it going? Are you breathing deep? Do you think you have a little bit more? Then give it a bit more. A 
Let's spread it out over all of the four minutes. Another few seconds. Switch over soon. To a torso twist. Uppercut. There we go. seconds of this one. Come on, we can do it. Push it. Won't hurt you. We'll do you longer. Go for the next one. Squat low down. Now, I put a little jump in there because I can. But maybe some of you absolutely should not do this. Work with your level of fitness. Heart rate is going up. It's an excitement for all of us. Two seconds. Three, two, one. The butt kicker. There we go. I'm doing this with a little hop. Are you breathing deep? Can you hear me breathe? I think I can hear you breathe too. Wonderful. Here we make the switch up. This is the heel tap. Now, if you get up, hop with me. Arms wide. Breathing through the nose only. Doesn't work for me anymore now. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Shuffle twist. There we go. Lift that leg. Yes, you can do it. There's not much more towards you. Less than a minute left. You can do it. This is an investment for your overall health, not only for your fitness level. Come on, do it. Lift that leg. A few more seconds. And then we go for the very last one, which is skull turn half jack. There you go. Not bouncing for everybody. You can do the modified version, but push yourself. Now, for those of you that believe you're very fit, can you check it up a little bit? Nice last 10 seconds. Come on. Half the path, half the this up. This is where your medicine is. Now, a few seconds. And it is done. Now, I'll quiet this alarm. I've got the stopwatch. You've got your pulse. Start counting now. Stop counting. Ten times. How much is it now? Is it your highest? This is what you're working on. Wonderful. Now, you can take it a bit easy. Could now do some stretching because you have plenty of blood circulation in your muscles. You breathe a little bit deeper, you can go for, go for a cool down walk. You have done wonderfully well. <laughs>